game would have, the Amiibo would have functionality in The Legend of Zelda for Wii U, uh, then Wii U, now Breath of the Wild. And so we wanted to take the opportunity today to show you what the Amiibo is going to do in game. Um, and so we want to start with a quick video just recapping how the Amiibo functioned in Twilight Princess HD. Uh, so we're going to cut to that video really quickly and, uh, and show you, if you recall, what, what it does there. But essentially the way that it worked in that video is you would enter the Cave of Shadows as Wolf Link um, when you tapped it in and you would play the challenges in there and you would complete the Cave of Shadows and then you would tap the Amiibo to the Wii U gamepad and it would save the number of remaining hearts that you had in the, after completing the Cave of Shadows to the Wolf Link Amiibo. And so now what we want to do is we're going to actually tap this to, the, uh, to Wii, uh, the Wii U version of Zelda Breath of the Wild and show you what it does. Uh, so as you see, you use uh, one of your runes there on the Sheikah Slate to give you access to the Amiibo. And we tap it in. And, oh, let's see, uh-oh, there I heard a little, uh-oh, we have a slight tech, oh, there, there we go. go. You may have seen a little effect there, similar to the, what you see in Twilight Princess. Tapping the amiibo to the Wii U gamepad in Breath of the Wild will bring Wolf Link into the game as a partner character. Um, so we've been showing you a lot of the game, we've been showing you running around and exploring, Perhaps what you've noticed is that Link does not have a partner character in the game, um, and that is true. Typical of, uh, of a Zelda game, you would normally see somebody like a Navi, or uh, in the case of Twilight Princess, a Midna. In the case of Breath of the Wild, Link is generally exploring alone. Um, and so if you do want that partner character, you would tap in the Wolf Link amiibo and call Wolf Link in. Wolf Link does a variety of different things in the game, uh, in addition to just kind of being a partner character that runs around with you. Uh, as you can see here, Wolf Link helps with combat. Um, he will actually uh, attack enemies and, uh, and will help you fight them. Yeah, he actually drops when he finds enemies for you, too. Yeah, it's, it's really cute when he does. He kind of like hunkers down and growls mm -hmm. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing him in his art style. It's just really cool. The other, thing that's, the other thing that's really cool is you do, looking at how big he is, you're like, yeah, that's, that's Link crouched down <laughs> in wolf size. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if he was, I he was sniffing out something there. Yeah. Yeah. So if I see it, cool. Oh, there we go. Now, apart from, uh, from combat, the other thing that Wolf Link will do is if you get close enough to, uh, to a wild animal, well, it looks like you need to get a little bit closer there, Chico. Wolf, Wolf Link will go out and hunt the animal for you. He's able to sense prey, sense meat, um, and he'll help you out with yeah. that as well. But he doesn't go for acorn, though. No, just he doesn't. The meat. Just the meat. <laughs> yeah. um, you can see the animation also just really fluid, really nice. Mm -hmm. kind I of can actually hear like the, the chain a little bit as he walks. Yeah, he still has the, the chain around his paw from when he was in prison at the beginning of <laughs> Twilight Princess. Uh, oh, he's wolfing, right? Oh, there he goes. Ah, sorry. Did it first. Oh, go oh, okay. oh, oh thank he, you. There he goes. There you go. He he got, he got that uh, got that boar uh, right there on the rump and, and took him down for you, Chico. Yeah. 